to my 2024 Deck the Hall series. I have kicked off the series giving you some style inspiration. I uploaded by now three videos sharing with you the trends, the colors, and just some must-have items for this 2024 style and season. Judging by the setting, I'm coming to you with a fabulous shopping haul. You guys, I am so excited for this holiday season. Let's just say your girl is ready to deck the halls. So without any further ado, guys, we're going to hop right into it. I've got some goodies to share. I'm talking skincare, foods, fragrances, decor, and so much more. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a beverage of choice, and let's get into it. All right, guys, so first up is Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to be honest with you. The items I'm about to share with you is giving very much so big back energy. But we're not judging, right? This is all about the holiday style and season. So one thing that is, like I would say, sentimental to me are like those candies or things that my grandmother would put out to let you know that the holiday season was coming, right? And for my grandmother, she would always do a nice bowl on the coffee table. And in that bowl, she would have some signature items. Every year, like clockwork, you knew the season was coming based on what was placed in said bowl. It would be apples, oranges, walnuts and some caramel of her choice i absolutely look forward to all of the goodies in that bowl it may not mean anything to anybody else but for me that was always the highlight of the season when i saw granny putting those things in that bowl i already knew it was about to go down for the holiday season and so when i saw these it just brought back that sense of nostalgia for me so i picked these up don't know if they're going to make it to a bowl that may just be sitting on the side of my bed and i chomp on them in the midnight hour but again you ain't judging, right? So first up, guys, I picked up these Werther's Original. These were some that my grandmother used to always place out back then. It was like just the hard ones, but now they have the soft ones. And I just picked up a variety of them, and I placed them in a cute little bowl. But whether they're outside my bed or in my office or for everyone to enjoy, that's yet to be determined. But what I got was the caramel apple feel. I had never seen that before, so I had to try those. I got the soft caramel because I remember her getting these a lot. And then I picked up the soft vanilla cream ones. Did not find the hard ones, but if you all know what I'm talking about, drop a comment and let me know if you're familiar with that hard caramel candy that our grandmas would place out during the holiday styling season. So I got those three things. And believe it or not, that was all. I mean, it wasn't all I got, but that's all I have to share. That that was things that's related to the season. So we're gonna move on down to the next store. All right. So I guess in keeping with the big back energy of it all, this next item that I'm gonna share with you guys is from um another YouTube sister that influenced me. So Kimberly Davis, this is all your fault. Along with the other item from this particular store from my girlfriend, Varika. This is all your fault. But we have an Aldi's in our area, guys. It's about a 20 minute drive from me, but I knew once it opened that I had to get over there because I remember shopping at Aldi's when I lived in Texas. And it was one of those places that I would always go to for groceries and things like that. But the items that I'm about to share with you, I had not um, been privy to prior to hearing from it from my sister, Kimberly Davis. And it's none other than these maple leaf cream cookies. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I got them because they're cute, but she says they're good. So I'm going to style them in my um, in my little dessert container in the um, coffee bar area. We're looking to have some family over for the fall season, although we're, it, we're talking Christmas, but we're still in fall. So I picked this up. It's actually a fall purchase, but I hope they're as good as my sister says they are. They're definitely cute, if nothing else. So I got them. I don't even think they were maybe a couple of bucks. Not even sure, but they weren't expensive at all. Really nothing in all these is crazy expensive, but they were just so super cute. I was looking for the ones that she has that you sit over the cup. I think those are adorable. Did not get my hands on those, but I did get these maple leaf cream cookies. And it um, has a maple leaf flavored, maple flavored cream filling. So we shall see. So I got those, okay. And this purchase, also influenced by someone else, is my girlfriend, Barika. She loves the candles from all these, and they're very inexpensive. And she knows that I've just kind of gotten back into the candle world since I've gotten the candle lamps. And so she knows I'm a vanilla fanatic. So I purchased this one, and I actually... It's a subtle vanilla, but I actually do like it. So I will be repurchasing these. Guys, it's only like $4.97. So if you're in the market for some inexpensive candles and you're having all these in your area, check them out. But I got this and I'll be keeping this in my office because again, it doesn't give a lot of throw, but it does smell nice 
and soothing and relaxing and definitely ushers in that fall vibe in my opinion so i got one of those i only wanted to get one so i could see how it would perform and i like it so it'll be on repeat now we're going to go to the next store that is not of keeping in with the fragrance of it all actually there's going to be two more stores that's keeping in with the fragrances guys i am as you all know a wax girl and so as many waxes i have purchased high end low end nothing beats the throw or the fragrances of the better homes and garden waxes from walmart in my opinion and so i went ahead and stocked up on some fall fragrance or some i would just say some cooler fragrances if you would i picked up the wild berry and cheesecake this is a family favorite we all love this fragrance it smells so so good i picked up the orange butter cream and cupcake another yummy gourmand fragrance love this this one I have grown to love for my bathrooms and it is the white Tahitian wood. It's fruity, but it definitely ushers in that fall, wintry vibe. It has sandalwood, teak, and cedarwood. And I think that in that birch leaves, that's kind of what ushers in a little bit of a fall um, vibe to me. So I kept those in this rotation. Although I use these during the summer, but I think those scents carry them over into the fall season. And my last and final one is Warm Leather Amber. This one is a nice masculine scent. I always like mixing masculine and feminine fragrances throughout the house. It just kind of sets a different vibe and tone for each space. And so I, when I smelled this one, I really, really liked it. It has amber, oud, vanilla beans, mahogany, and intense coca scent, scent notes. I loved it. I absolutely love it. They're only like $1.97, some of them $2.22, not a budget breaker at all, but I absolutely love using them season after season. So the Christmas season, it's no different. So guys, this is, again, I've gotten back in the candle world and I've about lost my mind because everywhere I go now, I want to try some candles. And this was one that back in the day when I could do candles because I didn't develop like a, a low tolerance for candles until later in life don't know what that was about but i used to love this brand of candles it smells amazing and i was in a local boutique um in my area and i when i saw the lid because they have a signature lid when i saw that lid i made a beeline over to that station and i just about lost my mind but i had to really back just pull out one or two because they're not cheap by they're kind of pricey but i love them and i know that burning them on the warmers now i'll have a longer lifespan of the candle and it's none other than the tyler candle company guys i love tyler candles have loved them for years now the only thing with me i purchased their waxes but the waxes don't perform for me like their candles did so i just kind of got away from them but this is one of my favorites and this is what this one is orange vanilla so so yummy definitely speaks of the fall season you guys know vanilla is going to always be a staple for me year round but this candle smells so so good so i will be enjoying this all season long so that is what i got from um it's called flowers and bows i believe that's a local little um floral boutique in my area okay moving on now moving right along i think we're going to go to amazon aka amazon hold on before we go to amazon i'm going to pull these out because now we're going to get into the decor world right where are we going we're gonna to go to Am yeah we're gonna to go to amazon but this one is not from amazon i think i shared these with you guys during a um when i was styling my fall tree that's absolutely gorgeous i get so many compliments on that tree and i love walking into it morning after morning or day after day i picked up these beautiful chocolate velvet napkins guys absolutely amazing i picked them up from a company called cb linens i ordered a lot of my event planning inventory from them and i really forgot i had purchased them because at one point i was going to do the kitchen or the dining area and the chocolate cookies and cream theme and i had ordered them and totally forgot about it until the inventory came in but i love these y'all so i'm definitely going to keep them in rotation you may see them during the winter season who knows but they're beautiful beautiful napkins. i think they're 20 by 20s really really pretty napkin in that crushed velvet very elegant and they are very inexpensive and you can purchase I think you can purchase CV linens through Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. But if not, I'll link the CV linens link um, in my description box. Very inexpensive. I think I got, I always have to get 
you know, 10. So I think I got a dozen of them for maybe $7. Not sure, but I think that's what, we, what I paid for them. Again, I ordered them in bulk of 100 for events, but I picked up the chocolate specifically for my personal use. So I got those, okay? And then I got, now that's the only thing I got from there, but I just kind of want to, if I have it here, I want to share it with you guys. So keep it flowing into Amazon, okay? Because y'all, I'm trying to look and see what is going on. So Amazon is going to be predominantly skincare, but I picked up, speaking of the candle warmers, guys, I picked up some more halogen bulbs for them because one of the lamps that I ordered, we mistakenly threw the lamp, the bulbs away. So I had to order some more, but you can get the replacement bulbs on Amazon, very inexpensive. I think they were $6 for four of them. So I picked those up from Amazon. And going into the winter season, my skin gets very, very dry. So I've been doing some research and the girlies were talking and they recommended these products. And so I kind of bought one here and there just to kind of see what it would do and how it would perform on me. And I fell in love, okay? First things first, guys, ain't got nothing to do with skin. It is, what is this? Some eyelash adhesive. Your girl is allergic to latex. And so, me and the lashes just was not working. You guys know my uh, fiasco with the lashes last year. Literally, my I woke up the next morning after getting a set of lashes. My eyes were fused together. So, I was like, if I don't do adhes um, latex-free lashes aren't for me and I really like the look of the lashes I just don't want to be blind as a result of trying to wear the lashes so I'm going to try my hand at this um, adhesive the um, latex free adhesive and see how that performs and I'll keep you guys posted if I come back with shades on and can't see you know it ain't work either but we're going to give it a try we're going we're gonna to try nothing hurts but it's a nothing beats a failure but a try so we're going to try it we're going to try it all right, so now, guys, getting into this whole beauty regimen of it all, um, the girls were saying you need some eye packs. So I was like, okay, let me go find me some good eye packs. So they were, someone um, did a review on this particular brand. It's the Spa Life Under Eye Patch, the vitamin C and collagen one. And with her video, she showed over time, and I did see a significant difference in her results. So hopefully I get the same. They're very inexpensive. You get a pack of 12, um, a six pack. So I guess it's 12 and you get six settings, right? And they were, um, I think they were like four or five bucks. Not very expensive at all, right? So I got that. Keeping in line with the whole skincare of it all, you guys. This is a brand that I had heard about but never tried. And I was in Walmart and they were running a sale on them. So I said, let me try it. Because for me, what performs well on my skin is um, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. And when I saw that those ingredients were in this particular serum, I said, let me give it a try. Gave it a try, guys. An instant, instant must have. I love it. So I went ahead and re-upped on that. Not very expensive at all because I am a creature of habit. Y'all know this. You know, my skincare journey, I like to try full sets, full um, lines of a product because I felt like the systems worked better. But listen to some of the experts, um, dermatologists, estheticians, and they're saying you don't necessarily have to do a full system of things. Just pick the items that work for you and build your own custom facial regimen, which is what I'm trying to do. So I know that the True Skin Neocinamide um, with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid performs well for me. So if you deal with excessively dry skin, then you may want to try it. It's not super oily, but it's definitely going to give that nice dewy look and feel if that's what you're going for. Okay. Another brand that I had that sparked my interest was Good Molecules. And I picked up the um, Wake Up Eye Gel. Okay. I picked up the niacinamide brightening toner. You hear that? You're gonna hear that word a lot because once you find the products that perform well for your skin, it will behoove you to lean into that thing. Okay? So niacinamide works well for me. I picked up the pineapple exfoliating powder. Now this is a new one. I'm interested to see how it performs. So I'll keep you guys up to date on that. But seeing the reviews, the girlies really got good results from those products. And so then the other brand that I kind of um was inquisitive about was the ordinary brand again i'm super sensitive so i do a lot of research before diving into a product line i really really love the tatcha line and as i use it over time i realized what products perform well for me and what were just okay right and so if it's just okay i'm not going to spend a hundred bucks or more on a product that doesn't perform 
to the level that I think a hundred dollar product should perform. So with that being said, we're going to dabble over into the ordinary um, line of things. I picked up the glyconic acid toning solution because the girlies say, and the doctors say, you should use more than one toner. So I'm going to give it a whirl. And I've been doing it and I'm, I'm seeing results that I like. So I picked up the toner. I picked up the vitamin C serum and I picked up another hyaluronic um, acid serum. So your girl is on the hyaluronic acid and the niacinamide because it works for me. And I picked up a red nail that has not gotten here because there is a difference in red nail and red nail if y'all didn't know. I know this is not a skincare thing, but in doing my research, I found that there is a difference in the red nail and with an A red nail, I mean, it's more potent for your skin. So if you're looking to, um, if your skin is, um, receptive of retinol go ahead and get the retinol because it's going to perform better for you so that is all i got in the skincare realm and then what else did i get from amazon this is something here oh yeah i got a collaboration coming up and i'm going to be making some custom pieces so i picked up a couple of the um what are these the heat transfer designs I just want to give it a whirl so these are just some that it's like a self-care type of deal it's the self-love for me. So these are some that you can easily place on a shirt, on a canvas to create some wall art, just you name it. So I picked up this particular grouping. I thought it was so fun and fitting. Um, the thing is, your opinion doesn't pay my bills. Check that part. Check that. What does this one say? Just blessed. I love the beautiful melanated queens on these um, designs. This one says... Even in the midst of my storm, I see God working it out for me. Hallelujah. Every time. When does he come through? Every time. Okay? So, with God, everything is possible. Amen, amen, amen. And this one says, self-love in the black and gold. That's really cute. Melanin. This was, I think this is probably my fave. I love anything that has the big, the big curly hair up dudes. Love that, love that, love that. This one says pray. Super cute, super fun. And then it says with God, all things are possible. Just really pretty um, designs. I'm looking to create some gifts for some of my sister girls and for myself as well. Again, they don't necessarily have to be put on shirts, but I've been watching some videos and they've been placing them on plates, like on like charger plates to create like little plaques. I've seen them placed on pillows. I've seen them placed on sweatshirts, uh, making like the two-piece jump sets. You know, just all of the things. So you're always gonna be doing some things this fall season with this um, heat press. I'm excited about it. So I got that from Amazon, okay? I'm trying to move right along, you guys, because I know this could be quite lengthy because I have a lot of goodies to share, okay? So we're gonna move on now to the next store. Hey guys, I was really torn between whether or not to bring you Hobby Lobby next or to bring you um, Home Goods next. And I think I'm going to lean more into the Hobby Lobby. It is, they're both serving up holiday. Now we're getting into the holiday portion of it all, you guys. And I am so excited about what's to come. Now, let me preface this in saying that I, I had said to myself, beginning of the year, for the holiday season, you don't need a lot of stuff. Just repurpose, reuse, you know, yada, 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 right? Out the door, sis. Just plump out the door. Because I have purchased some things, and I have more things on my list to add. Now, in my defense, there's not a lot of ornaments. Are there any ornaments? Well, there may be a few ornaments. But most of this is just decor pieces, things to add to collections or build on looks that I already have in place. So it wasn't like I went out and just purchased totally new things. I'm just adding to what I already have, but I didn't think I'd be adding as much. But anywho, what we're not gonna do, judge. Okay, so first things first, guys, I shared this again with the um, fall styling season. If you've seen my living room fall styling, I shared this uh, particular item with you guys. And it is none other than this beautiful, beautiful fabric, guys. It is, look at that, how yummy. It's a cow print, like a cow hide type of material. It feels amazing. I purchased two yards of it, right? Because I wanted to, I was looking for some pillows, you guys. I was on the hunt for something really pretty to go with my chocolate, my cookies and cream thing. Couldn't find anything that just really struck my attention. But when I was in the store and I saw this, I knew that I had to have it. 
And because I didn't have a lot of time to um, call on my seamstress to make me a pillow, your girl had to DIY it. And I'm so glad I did. I'm so proud of me. Like, yay me. So I have enough material that I'm going to go ahead and make some lumbar pillows to go along with those. Um, I think I made 22 by 22 size pillows. But this is 54 inch in width, you guys, with amazingly beautiful fabric. And so these are the scraps of what I had from that. But I'm going to utilize the scraps to make some lumbar pillows for, um, I don't know if it's going to be styled. Because I am going to introduce chocolate to one of the looks. But I don't know if this is going to be for that or for winter styling. But once and never it comes, just be ready for the styling, okay? We got that from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $19.99 a yard and it had a... Um, 30% off, so I may have paid like 12 bucks for um, the $11.99, which is basically 12 bucks for each yard, and it was worth every penny. I really want to go back and get more, but I'm going to hold my horses for that, okay? Also from Hobby Lobby, guys. Now, I shared this with you guys. I shared some of them with you guys from a previous um, haul, but I went back and they had another shape of this said thing. Now this is where the ornamentation comes into place, right? So I saw these, you know, the jewel ornaments were all the rage last season. All the girls had them in all of the colors, right? So I was able to get my hand on a few, but they were really pricey. And so when I saw that Hobby Lobby brought them this year, and they introduced their Christmas decor on 50% off. Your girl was super excited. They had a number of colors. They had um, red. They had the diamond, like the clear, rose gold. I, did, I don't remember seeing. I think I saw gold, if I'm not mistaken. But they had the emerald green. Y'all know how I feel about emerald green. If you watched my last few um, holiday trend videos, you already know that emerald green is a trending color for the season. And so I picked this up, you guys. I picked up the, I don't know, one of these shapes I picked up from a previous um, haul. And when I went back, okay, I think I picked up this one from a previous haul. And then when I went back, they had more of these. So I think I have five and five of each. Do I need them? No, but are they going to go with my holiday theme for the season? Yes. So I had to add them to the collection, right? So they were $9.99 at 50% off and $10.99 at 50% off. Y'all, these ornaments this size are easily sold in most of your designer um, boutiques for $24, $15. The lowest I saw them for this particular size, I think, was $18. But most of them was $18 to $20 or more her ornament so to get them at five dollars each or six dollars each it was definitely a must-have and if you can get your hands on them please do so because i have some of the more expensive higher end ones and i can tell you that the quality is the exact same so they did not skimp on that i don't know how they were able to get the couch down but they got the cost down and i'm here for it so i picked up some more of those okay so that is going to be one of my looks one of my looks Okay, what else, honey? It was a whole lot here from Hobby Lobby. Let me see. So, for another look, guys. Uh-oh, let me pull her up. You guys know that I did on the front porch. I introduced a new theme last year. And it was none other than no mean Mr. Grinch, right? And so, I have been styling with this color hue for a number of years. Since 2010, maybe. That is my um, signature color for outside. I think it's very indicative of the holiday season. Very, very whimsical, eye-catching for the kids. And so I always like to use that color. And when I saw the opportunity to add the Grinch, I thought, why not? And so I saw these gift boxes, these stackable um, gift boxes. I just knew that I had to have them. It's a set of three. And I got them for the um, front porch styling. I'm torn as to whether or not to go get more because how cute are they? Like, you can stack them up. Uh-oh. You can stack them up. Oh, did I break some? No. Okay. So you have your large one at $17.99, 50% off. Your medium size at $13.99, 50% off. And then your baby one is $9.99 at 50% off. So how cute and fun is that, guys? So I'm going to set this over here just to get them out of the way before I make a mess and break something and be in tears. But how gorgeous are those? so fun so cute i'm really feeling like i need to get another set in my life or maybe like a couple more of this side to put in the actual tree who knows but i just love that little fall that snow look around it that bright green just so fun and whimsical i like the topsy-turvy 
You see, this is how, this is what gets me. I get in the stores and just lose my little mind. Because I be like, oh, I can do this and I can do that. So, yeah. So, we'll fixate that some kind of way to where it stays up. And bam, you have yourself a cute little stackable look. So cute, right? So that is to add to the Grinch look. Again, not looking to just buy a whole bunch of things, but I knew that some of the items, I, when I saw them, I was like, oh, I can build on a look with that, or build on my current looks with that. So I did that, right? Where I wanna go next? So let's just dive right into this. I saw this and I thought, how perfect would this be? I always wanted to do like that layering look with a mirror and, um, a number of photos maybe two or three prints or something like that and so when i saw this i know that one of the themes i'm going to go with is part of one of those trending looks and um i'm actually going to be combining uh, several looks together but i wanted to go with that joyous occasion and kind of lean into the spiritual aspect of it so when i saw this picture it says for unto us a child is born i knew that it would be perfect leaning either against my entryway mirror or in, against the um mirror above the fireplace but beautifully layering um or even on my credenza it could be pretty lean up against that picture because it doesn't have to be a mirror you can layer on photos and just get a really nice designer look but i had to have this so it's really really pretty guys and beautiful gold metallics it's just an image of mary joseph and baby jesus and at the manger i just thought it was so pretty i love the gold leaf detail has a little bit of a minty green hue in there some chocolate hue so whatever color direction i go in with this it's going to be absolutely gorgeous even has like the gold leaf in the star i just thought this was so pretty guys and for the price you couldn't beat it, it was 34.99 at 50 percent off so i thought it would definitely fit in my um joyous occasion theme so we're going to lean into that so you'll see a lot of spiritual or biblical um photos or images or things that really usher in the true meaning of the season so this is going to be perfect with that theme i'm excited about it okay let's see what girl because i'm running out of room since i'm running out of room okay let set that there so y'all now this is one of my faves this is hands down probably one of my favorite looks i've ever um styled or designed and i purchased this particular or these particular items, I'm gonna set it there. I'm trying to make room, y'all. So if you hear a bunch of rattling, just be patient with your girl. Okay, I'm trying not to break nothing. So this particular grouping, guys, I purchased during the summer. It was at the off um after season sale or off season sale. And it's not other than these, but it ties in with the look. I always tell you guys, plan your things ahead, and when you're out shopping or looking around you can find items that are not necessarily for that say it season but can definitely flow with the theme that you're going for in that season and this was the case with these particular pieces it is none other than this melamine melamine um dinnerware set but how pretty is it and those like confetti or like the sprinkles of candy on there got these during the um summer or after summer sale at 90 percent off i think i shared these with you guys at a previous haul but i just want to share with you how everything is going to flow in and make sense they were 13 18.99 and i got them at either 90 or um 70 percent off i got one set at the 90 and one set at the 70 and these are 22.99 same clearance sale and i got i don't know why i got an extra set of these and not another set of those so Maybe there is another set of these and I just put them, I probably have put them already with the sugar and, I think I did put them with the sugar and spice theme because I used that look for some of the items for my Easter styling. So I think that's what I did, but we, we shall see. So I have those and it's gonna be super, super cute. And I pulled them out mainly to show you how they're all gonna flow with my sugar and spice theme, guys. And how cute is this little guy? It is a nutcracker, and I love that it has like that sugared look to it. That's kind of like my running theme was the, like the whole sugar thing, and it's in the pastel colors. It's got the cupcakes to tie in with the sugar and spice, and it has the gingerbread. You guys know I incorporated gingerbread last year to the look, and all of these things are on trend, and I'm excited about it. So I got this for um, $28.99 at 50% off, but how perfect is that going to be? with that color here so cute and fun okay so you know that i'm now talking about the sugar and spice collection guys i found the cutest little thing just to do some styling around the um kitchen area and i picked up these cute little 
signs that says Santa's Sweet Shop, um, Cupcake Mountain, Candy Cane Woods, and Gum Drop Hills. $2.99 to 50% off, guys. Really, how cute is that? So cute style on like your beverage bar on your on a um, one of your tier trays or something like that. So so cute and fun in the color hues, of course. And then this one says sweet and treat. Sweets and treats. Old-fashioned sweets guaranteed to make you feel jolly. How cute is that? $4.99. 50% off again. Just buying little things to strategically style in my home. Again, not breaking the bank, just adding what I need or what I want. But I say it like that. And so these guys, y'all, I knew they was coming home with mama the moment I saw them. And it is Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread, all decked out in the pastel color he used, holding their sweets. I just, one is holding a rolling pin and one is holding a baby gingerbread. So stinking cute. Because I incorporated the gingerbread into the look, I knew that I had to have them. I said, this is Mr. and Mrs. Hudson. I am so loving them, guys. They were $12.99 at 50% off. So again, not breaking the bank. God knows I didn't need another ornament, but I have to tell you, there are some things from the at-home store that's got me in a chokehold. I went over there. You'll see a come, upcoming video just to check out the styles for the season. Y'all... Their sweets, and I think there was just called um, Mrs. Claus Bakery, but their collection is more in line with the theme that I'm going for, the color hues. They have so much that I wanted. I'm like, Lord, help me, help me, Jesus, help me, give me some, give me some temperance, some self control, because I'm losing it. There, I want it all. I want. They have the most beautiful. Um, like house, the gingerbread house. I want to do like a cute little village where well, I did it last year. I just want to build on that look, but they are so gorgeous. Just all of the things. So if you see another haul, what you gonna do? Okay, in that order. So now we're gonna move over to the next store. All right, guys, I'm back. Phew. A few moments later, I had to stop and commune with my man, my man, my man, honey. He came in from work. I had to get my brother all fed and catch up on his day. But anywho, back to the issue at hand. The last and final stop is Home Goods. Y'all, I was in Home Goods, mind my own little business. Had every intention on just going in and getting some content for the people, i.e. you, the people, right? come out $200 later honey and I ain't even mad about it I got some beautiful pieces from Home Goods and I was proud of me because I had to dial it back and put some things back girl you don't need all of this but it was so pretty but I only got what I felt like I needed so let's get into it y'all first things first guys I wanted to share this with you guys because I am a now new fan of this infusion um mango ashwagandha tea Amazing, it's $3.99. You get, I think, um, I think it's 25 packs. Yeah, 25 packs of tea, which I thought was a really good buy for um, tea. Typically, your yogis will come with maybe a dozen packs, if I'm not mistaken. But for $3.99, and this really is a wonderful, wonderful tea, it has a good flavor. You know, ashwagandha has many um, um, benefits, a wonderful benefits. One that's keeping you relaxed and calm. I absolutely love it. It is my morning ritual. I'm going to try to get my hands on some more of this. Really, really good. If you're into teas, check it out. Okay. So now, woo, all of my glamour queens come to the front. Come, 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 come to the front because this is going to be, this, this is going to be for you, sis. Okay. This right here is going to be for you. So up first. I am a lover of this color. You already know I share with you with the beautiful ornamentation. And when I saw these beautiful, beautiful um, ripple glass vessels, I knew that I had to have them. They were only $12.99, y'all. I got a set of two. So how gorgeous are these? I love them because I can do a number of things with them. I'm not into just buying things for just one specific use anymore. She's not about that life. I need things to be multifunctional so that I can repurpose them right so i initially purchased because i'm doing this look for one of my holiday themes where i'm doing the emerald green color of course i knew that i could use them and when i saw i said the two of them i thought that's a win-win because during this season when i do the um exotica look for the summer i can pop this emerald green on top of my wall sconces and pull that color over to that area so they will definitely serve multi multi uses i could pop a 
flame this candle inside and create a nice little vibe with it. Just really, really pretty. You could, of course, do a centerpiece in here, throw you some beautiful florals inside, got yourself a vase for a centerpiece. So it could serve a number of uses. You can put um, live flowers as well as artificial flowers inside. And I'm here for it. At $12.99, I got a set of two. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to show you next. I, don't, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to start with these. Now, this is something that I definitely did not necessarily need. But when I saw them, baby, that wasn't standing in the store. And to be real, I'm looking for two more. Hold on. Let me lay these, let me lay these keep babies down so they don't. Okay. Stay still. Don't you move. Okay. So, walking through the pillow section, I was really still on the hunt for some pretty chocolate pillows. No, I got what I needed in the in the fabric I just shared with you guys. But when I saw these beauties, it's like y'all coming home with mama. How gorgeous is this pillow, guys? Absolutely stunning and like a beautiful aqua minty color with beautiful gold metallic. It's an abstract design pillow and I love it y'all know this is my signature color so when i saw it i knew that i not only could use it for christmas i could use it for spring summer whenever i style with this color you guys know that this color is styled in my home all year round in a room or two and this pillow is by i want to say it's the Callisto brand no this is by soho studio but very very well made it is the down feel absolutely love her was not leaving her in the store and i'm looking for another set of twins i picked up not only one but i picked up two of these beauties how stunning y'all how stunning i'm trying to give you the sizing i believe they're 22 no what is it the apartment 24 don't mean it's 24 by 24 i'm almost certain that they're 22 by 22s that's what we're gonna call it and they were 20 $29.99 and then worth every penny in my opinion. The fabric is nice and thick, not a cheaply made fabric at all. Again, something that I can use for many, many seasons. That's how you gauge your price per dollar. Like, is it a one-time use thing or can you get multi-uses out of said thing? And for me, you all know, this, this is a year-round item. This is something I will have in my home for many, 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 many years to come. And then zipper, does it have a zipper? I, yeah, it does. It has a zipper, um, inserts so i guess it goes like so but i love it so if i wanted to pop this pillow cover off i could add another pillow cover of my choice here but i really want to get my hands on another set of these they are just stunning y'all just a beautifully beautifully designed pillow so i got two of those right and i was just like okay it's not gonna get any better than this honey i lied walked on around the corner and i saw these and this is something that i have pieces from this grouping in my collection already some beautiful beautiful trees and so when I saw these I knew that I had to have them and it's definitely indicative of one of my themes for the year okay hold on let's get this up because I don't want it to fall I picked up a set of three of these beautiful crystallized branches y'all this is by the Rachel um Rachel Zoe collection I have a grouping of three of the trees from this collection y'all it's just stunning i love that the stems are flexible how gorgeous is this with that icicle um motif just beautiful beautiful pics y'all so so pretty i picked up three and I, i'm not sure if i got them all but i feel like i want more i feel like i want more because i'm gonna do some different type of style in this holiday season so it's going to be amazing of no doubt but just bringing you some different inspiration choices but these are beautiful and how gorgeous are they with said pillows you see where you see where i'm going with this gorgeous 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 so these and they're gold if you can't tell they're gold with that icy um like the icy picks on there it looks like icicles hanging on the branches so absolutely stunning again i picked up three sets which gives me six picks but they're so dramatic and overscale that one pick absolutely makes a statement but you guys know how i like to razzle dazzle some stuff and create pieces all my own but how stunning are they oh my god they would be pretty and the queen absolutely gorgeous in her 
but they, they, they're going to have a new home. They're going to have a different home. They're going to go along with the pieces that I already have for this collection. Again, it's all about building on the collections. I'm going to lay her right, lay them right there because these ushered in a whole nother, a whole nother situation, right? So, the last and final piece, y'all, if that wasn't, if these pieces did not wow you, this piece right here is the woo woo woo. This was the piece that I said, put it in the cart. I didn't even question if I should, do I need it, that none of those questions came to mind when I saw this. The only thing that came to mind was grab it now. Y'all, look at this. First of all, if you've been a member of the royal family for any length of time, you know that my all-time holiday obsession is what? Right there. And when I saw this beauty, mm, mm, mm. look at y'all. Look, feast your eyes. It is going to be center stage amongst some things and it's gonna be some fabulous things no doubt but when I saw this and I had these in the basket it was just it was as if an entire um, design just flashed before my eyes and I just saw it so vividly and the whole color scheme and everything it, it changed the game okay it changed the game so this mm, isn't she lovely Yes, honey. I know it's a he because it's got the horns, but it's a she in my mind, baby. She's so fabulous. It was $39.99 and worth every penny. And I have to tell you, I've been on a hunt looking for a second one. But if I do not find a second one, this one is so fabulous. Wait a minute. What is that? She is so fabulous that she, he, can stand alone. So I have a design in mind for solo if I do not find another one. And of course, if I find another one, then I'll just have them both just kind of sitting center stage facing each other. But if not, this baby is a showstopper all by himself. I love this. Oh my God, so stunning. So I am so thrilled with the pieces that I have found. Y'all look, just, just look, just look, just, can you smell what the girl is cooking? Mm, mm, mm. Yes, God. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Can I tell y'all? I'm ready to pull the trees out like right now. Not not right now, but right now. Ready to just pull them on out and get this styling on the road. I am so excited for this holiday styling season. As I stated, there are some pieces from the um, at-home store that I'll be adding to the Sugar and Spice collection. Not sure if I'll be adding much of anything else anywhere else because all of them are fully, fully packed i just want to add to that grouping but i am so excited about this holiday silence i'm excited about every season i've got some new clients we're bringing in some new color schemes and things i'm going to take you guys along for that as well but as far as for me in my house we're ready to deck the halls and i don't know about y'all but i'm ready i'm so ready not rushing the seasons i just i love this time of year i, I get to really really tap into a hone into all the creative juices and if nothing if i haven't styled anything else this year this christmas season from october 1 to december 15th or so your girl is going to get all the creative juices out and into homes and into businesses and into my home and hopefully into yours with inspiration so that's it that's all of this amazing holiday shopping haul i hope you guys were inspired found some goodies found some inspiration and you're ready to start decking your halls or at least prepare preparing to deck your halls so until the next video guys i want you all to stay safe remain royal and until you click on again have yourself a blessed and beautiful day i'll see you in the next one bye Okay.